What's up guys, uh, welcome back to the Focal Collective YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Drew Folgman, I'm a photographer here in Washington, D.C. And I'm Nick Tribuno, I'm a photographer based out of Austin, Texas. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about the Brandeiser method, also known as Boca Panorama. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. So the Brenizer method, or Boca Panorama, was made popular by Ryan Brenizer. And what you do to achieve this look is you use a long lens uh, with a very shallow depth of field. I'm using the Sigma 85 1.4 today, and you're going to take a series of images and stitch them together in post-processing to create a depth that you couldn't achieve with this lens. Something important with this method uh, you have to remember is that you either have to shoot it with manual focus or back button focusing because if you're taking the series of images and as you're moving around the auto focus is shifting, uh, the, the depth will change and you won't be able to stitch it together in post. So now jumping back into Lightroom, uh, just to show you guys how easy it is to put all these images together. Uh, so when I got back, it looks like I took about 15 images for uh, the first shot that you guys saw me take. Um, so it's real easy. All you gotta do is hold down shift on the keyboard um, and select the first image in the series. I have them all right here. Um, and then I'll just select them all. And then you right click on the mouse and you find photo merge, panorama, um, and then basically Lightroom does most of the work for you and you just sit back while it renders. Um, so you can play around with these settings here. Um, it's just like a, testing some of the different warps that the panorama is using, but I typically just leave it on perspective. So then you just click merge and we wait for it to render again. All right, so here it is. So it turned out a tad bit darker than I hoped. So I'll just brighten it up a little bit. Um, and then all you got to do is you got to crop out these white the white areas so you can really see where you know the individual images were stitched together but yeah another way you could get rid of this uh, white border is by using Photoshop in the clone tool that would probably allow you to get a little bit more area of the photo because uh, you could clone out some of these white borders and it would be um, an overall bigger image but yeah, for just the sake of time of this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave it here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's really easy to um, put together and I really think it definitely adds a really cool look. Uh, it's almost like a tilt shift lens. Um, and one other thing I wanna mention uh, before I go here. So the camera you saw me shot, shoot this on was a Sony a7R II and that has, uh, I think 43 megapixels. So when you stitch all those images together, it'll probably crash your computer um, because it's just such a large file size. So what I did here first um, is I actually converted all of the raw files to JPEGs so that I could stitch it together and make it a little easier. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future.